Yo, hello everyone! Good Sync is a powerful tool for syncing and backing up files, but it can be a bit overwhelming if you're not familiar with it. In this video, we will show you how to get started with Good Sync, including how to install it, set up your phase synchronization, and manage your files. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. The first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply go here to the URL section and search for good sync. So here we go, good sync. And now just go ahead and click on the first link that will be appearing for you. So this is the app. As you may see here, they have so many kind of uh, apps and etc. and features. Click here to buy to see actually their plans if you'd like to get some kind of plan. Here they have this good sync personal for you for only $22.5 if you'd like to have it. And it will have good sync storage of 10 GB included. If you'd like to get a one year subscription, this is what you are going to get for only like uh, 20 2.5 which is pretty insane at the moment uh, for the features that you might get these are the features so here we go features for every backup and synchronization task real-time data transfer you will have automated scheduled and real-time back the backup and synchronization with no user interaction required you can block lever data transfer propagates only the data block changed since the last analysis significantly reducing backup time, network consumption, and storage requirements. An attendant service runs as a background service performing automated scheduled and real-time backups with no user interaction required. Here for end-to-end -end encryption, improve security by applying AES 256-bit encryption to your mission critical data in, in transit and at rest. Version history control. It saves single and multiple versions of your data change history, ensuring maximum protection and minimal data recovery time. It can copy locked files, guaranteed backup and synchronization of files that are simultaneously open on users' devices. And here finally, there is file and folder move rename detection, security attribute propagation, and real disk online storage. These R features are actually for free. And there is more, of course, if you'd like to buy the, the features that you don't have here, you can actually buy the feature which is on the premium version, which I showed you before, which is by sto having stores and some kind of extra stuff that you won't have in the normal plan. So now I have installed it on my PC. All I'm going to do now is wait until it is fully installed and then I will start downloading it. Here it is ready to go. So now let's click on it to start downloading it or installing it. Now here click on install. Let's wait a little bit and here let's sign up. Create an account easily using your email, password and then confirm your password. So here I'm going to use this email. As you can see here, uh, gmail.com, here password, here we go, and here the same password, and here first and last name, so lolly, lolly. create accounts. Now let's check if they accept our password, okay, everything's good, uh, okay, and here we go, starting server services, and the account is being now created. So now all you have to do is start using the program. So now could uh, has been successfully installed. Do you want to start it? Closing in 25 seconds. Start and yes. And here it is the software. If you'd like to create a new job, click here and here choose whether you want it to be a backup job or synchronization job. Let's choose for example backup. Let's name it here backup for PC. As you can see, it has been created. Now, all you have to do is do this analyze, choose here, choose the left and right synchronization folders for your job. So here, click here, choose any like kind of 
um, any kind of thing on your PC, for example, my computer, local, he choose whatever file you'd like to check, for example, download, and here, uh, I'm going to do this, the same thing, I don't know, do this, do that, and then, now, click on apply, for example, and here, click analyze button to start, so all you have to do is click on the analyze button, and it will start analyzing, as you can see, so this is left, right uh, if you want to like transfer them to the right side you can transfer them and this is all the files that you have in your pc it has been detected in a couple of seconds and synchronized as you can see now what you have to do is click on this synchronize and the files shall be reversed so the ones are on left are going to the right and the right is going to the left and that's how it works here so this is for the backup or synchronization. Um, here, let's create a new job, for example. Now let's create a new job and let's choose synchronization and let's do the same thing, okay? Um, let me just change this, okay? Here, the same thing, computer, for example, computer here, and let's choose some different kind of apply, yes, and do the analyze. And as you may see, it is done. Uh, here you'll have some informations about your computer. For example, you'll have free 292 gigabytes, total, total of one terabyte gigabyte, required 338 gigabytes. And for this one, you have free 292 gigabytes and required zero gigabyte. So the same thing here. If you'd like to synchronize and put something in the other side, just click on synchronize and it will be done. If you want to account synchronize off, click here. If you want to make a new group, which is a group of jobs, you can create it through here. And yeah, this is it about the application. It is so easy to use, so much things that are very easy to see and to turn on or turn off so you don't have to be really uh, in experienced or something like that to use the software which is pretty good for beginners so yeah guys once more if you don't understand anything just go to good sync realization and if you had any kind of problem you can either leave a comment down below in the comment section or go ahead and talk to the support it is 24 hours slot 7 working so as you can see here so you can just talk to them personally or kind of see their frequently asked questions you will find them in here and go ahead and check them out if you had any kind of problem so yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you liked it and enjoyed it if you had any problem make sure to leave it down below in the comment section and hopefully we we'll see you guys in the next tutorial in the next upcoming days so see you guys in the next video bye bye